In April 2021, on the Dingle Peninsula in County Kerry, on the southwest coast of Ireland, a remarkable archaeological discovery was unearthed near the summit of a hill in the townland of Knockavrogian West, approximately four kilometres from the town of Dingle. A large field in rough pasture had been undergoing agricultural reclamation works when the landowner dislodged a large boulder revealing a cavity beneath. Knowing that he had uncovered something of importance and significance, he immediately ceased all further work and set in train the reporting of the discovery to the relevant authorities. And representatives from the National Monument Service and the National Museum of Ireland inspected the site soon after. This wonderful discovery transpired to be a unique semi-subterranean megalithic tomb that had lain undisturbed since its last known use approximately 4,000 years ago. Archaeological management solutions were contracted by the National Monument Service to undertake archaeological monitoring of the remaining reclamation works on the hill and thereafter for a program of limited excavation works and recording, including the removal of exposed human remains within the tomb, prior to its ultimate reinstatement and preservation in situ. The tomb is keyhole-shaped in plan and orientated west-northwest to east-southeast, with the sealed entrance located at the western end. At the time of discovery, no mound or cairn was present over the tomb, and the only visible element was the largest of the three capstones that seal the tomb. The tomb itself comprises a large oval chamber in the east and an adjoining square smaller chamber in the west, and has maximum internal dimensions of 3.55 metres in length by 1.7 metres in width, and a maximum depth of 1.15 metres. The eastern chamber consists of two distinct levels comprising a floor made up of four stone slabs which sit on side stones and over a cavity beneath. An interesting feature of the western chamber is an enigmatic freestanding upright stone known as a pillar stone, which has known parallels in a small number of wedge tombs recorded in the southwest of Ireland. The burial practices recorded at the tomb comprised collective burial, including both inhumation and cremation. Analysis of the human remains recovered during the excavations suggests at least two or possibly three adults and three juveniles are represented. Part of the burial rite comprised the deposition of grave goods, as evidenced by the inclusion of a utilised elongated cobble recovered from the floor stones in the eastern chamber. The radiocarbon dates returned from the tomb indicate that it was a focus of burial and ritual from at least the mid-third millennium BC to the early 2nd millennium BC, in other words from the late Neolithic Early Bronze Age transition to the Early Bronze Age, spanning approximately five centuries. After the completion of the excavation works, the tomb was reinstated. This included the filling of the tomb with sand and the return of the displaced capstone to its original position overlying the eastern chamber to ensure its future preservation in situ. The tomb appears to have no known parallel and the current evidence suggests that it represents a regional variation of the megalithic tomb tradition. It does not fit within the four major classes of megalithic tombs generally accepted, comprising portal tombs, passage tombs, court tombs and wedge tombs, and is therefore regarded as an unclassified megalithic tomb. It is one of only a small number of megalithic tombs investigated to date in Kerry, and the first on the Dingle Peninsula. The Knock of Rogan West Tomb is therefore a highly significant monument and a wonderful addition to the archaeological record of the area.